Hey guys, uh, Rami here with your second stimulus check update and second stimulus package update for Tuesday, September 29th. Last night, the Democrats released their updated HEROES Act. This HEROES Act 2.0 is a scaled back version of the original HEROES Act, the $3.4 trillion one. It was estimated that this bill was going to be around $2.4 trillion, but it's actually at $2.2 trillion, which is the number that Nancy Pelosi has wanted for the longest time. But at least we now have the contents of the bill and not just a number. And I'm actually pleasantly surprised with this bill. It is very helpful and has much, much needed items. And it actually has less money for state and local government than what was in the Problem Solvers Caucus bill. We know that Republicans were against state and local bailouts when Democrats asked for close to $1 trillion. This bill has less than $500 billion for that, so that's good news. Nancy Pelosi and Steve Mnuchin talked about this last night and will continue talking about this this morning. This is our last chance to get something going on before the elections. So let's get to some high level overview of what is in this bill right after you please hit the like button on the video. Subscribe if you haven't already so I can update you on everything regarding the second stimulus check and stimulus package plus more money and finance news. All right, so the updated Heroes Act will have a second round of stimulus checks at $1,200 per adult and $500 per dependent. That's for adult dependents as well. Also, this payments will be made for individuals who have a TIN, a tax identification number, not just a social security number. Also, these payments are exempt from reduction or offset with respect to past due child support. And finally, these checks are protected from any form of transfer, assignment, execution, levy, attachment, garnishment, legal process, bankruptcy, or insolvency law. So you will get the money if this bill passes. The bill will also have unemployment at $600 per week starting from the week of September 6th and ending on January 31st. So there will be a little bit of uh, retroactive pay over there. There's going to be improvements to the Paycheck Protection Program to serve the smallest businesses and struggling nonprofits, providing hard hit businesses with second loans and delivering targeted assistance for the struggling restaurant industry and independent live venue operators. The bill will also have aid for the airline industry by extending the highly successful payroll support program to keep airline industry workers paid. This is much needed because airlines are slated to do massive layoffs if they don't get help soon. Another thing that is much, much needed is rental and housing assistance. This bill has tens of billions of dollars in new support to assist renters and homeowners make monthly rent, mortgage and utility payments and other housing related costs, preventing homelessness. The bill has a lot more details which I'll get into in my next video so stay tuned for that and subscribe if you haven't already. There's a lot to cover here. This is just an overview. Also Nancy Pelosi released a statement last night about this updated Heroes Act saying this 2.2 trillion dollar Heroes Act provides the absolutely needed resources to protect lives, livelihoods and the life of our democracy over the coming months. It includes new funding needed to avert catastrophe for schools, small businesses, restaurants, performance spaces, airline workers, and others. It has been more than four months since the House Democrats sent the GOP Senate $3.4 trillion in desperately needed coronavirus relief, grounded in science and data and leader McConnell hit the pause button. In our negotiations with the White House since then, Democrats offered to come down a trillion dollars if Republicans would come up a trillion dollars. Then we offered to come down $200 billion more, even as the health and economic crisis has worsened and the needs have only grown. Democrats are making good on our promise to compromise with this updated bill, which is necessary to address the immediate health and economic crisis facing America's working families right now. We have been able to make critical additions to reduce the cost of the bill by shortening the time covered for now. So now the Democrats have compromised. We'll see what the Republicans say about this new bill. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really, really appreciate you all. Please hit the like button, share this video, subscribe if you haven't already, and click the notifications bell to be notified whenever I publish new videos and new content for you. Also, make sure to check the link in the description below for the SoFi Money account, which is a checking slash savings account not stocks, not for investments. If you open an account using the link below and deposit $500, you'll get a $50 bonus. Then you can refer your friends and family and anyone you know and get $50 from every referral up to $10,000 per year. So that's a good way to make some extra cash. Also, don't forget to get your free stock from Robinhood and two free stocks from Webull, potentially worth up to $1,600. When you deposit only $100, which is just like cash, you can take it out anytime you feel like it. All the links are in the description below. Please stay safe, stay healthy, and I'll see you in the next video.